The Voith safe set is a hydraulic torque limiting coupling that transmits torque through friction. The hydraulic pressure in the coupling is adjustable, allowing for a variation of the release torque of the coupling. This ensures a precise release point resulting in the maximum possible catastrophic overload protection of the mechanical driveline. The following instructional video will review the operation and usage of the safe set. When the release torque of the safe set is reached, the coupling will slip, shearing the shear tubes and releasing the hydraulic pressure within the coupling. Following a release, remove the broken shear tubes. Install new shear tubes and tighten to 35 newton meters. This is done to ensure correct seating of the shear tube. Loosen the shear tube adjacent to the fill port by half a turn. Attach the hydraulic pump to the fill port on the coupling via the quick connect fitting. Pressurize the coupling in accordance with the calibration diagram that is supplied with each coupling and is specific to each coupling serial number. Tighten the shear tube to 35 newton meters in order to seal in the pressure within the coupling. Disconnect the pump and restart the driveline. Before installing the safe set, thoroughly check that the coupling is received undamaged. Clean each mounting surface, whether it is a flange to flange or shaft mounted unit. Each assembled unit will be shipped with 20 to 30 megapascals of pressure. This is done to prevent movement of the coupling during shipment. This is indicated on the transportation tag attached to the coupling. Depending on the coupling type, the safe set may have one of two different fill port designs either a push-in female quick connect on the smaller units or a screw-in male quick connector on the big units. Remove the protection plug using an M8 polar screw from the female quick connect port on the safe set coupling. Insert the male quick connect of the pump hose into the coupling's female fill port. Check that the pump has adequate space to expel the oil from the safe set coupling. Open the relief valve on the pump. Loosen the shear tube adjacent to the fill port by half a turn to release the pressure from the coupling back to the pump. Once pressure on the pump gauge has dropped to zero megapascals, the safe set is now free to move. It is important to verify that there is adequate lubrication oil in the coupling for the bearings to operate. Lubrication oil should only be checked when the coupling is depressurized. To check the oil fill level, position the safe set lubrication ports with one on top at 12 o'clock and one at 90 degrees horizontal, 3 or 9 o'clock. First remove the top lubrication plug followed by the side lubrication plug. Begin to fill oil from the top port until oil emerges from the side port. Reinstall the plug on the side first, followed by the top plug. The coupling is now lubricated. An oil change is recommended after the first three releases, then after every tenth release or once a year, whichever occurs soonest. Each coupling has a unique serial number engraved or tagged next to the fill port. The serial number corresponds to the calibration diagram in the safe set service manual that is supplied with each coupling. Use the diagram to find the correct pressure for the desired torque release point. On the x-axis, find your desired release torque. Follow the vertical help lines up to the coupling set line and then follow the horizontal help lines to the y-axis. This value, megapascals, is the pressure that must be achieved on the pump gauge while pressurizing the coupling to ensure the desired transmittable torque is achieved. If the shear tubes are broken, remove them all and clean the holes thoroughly with only compressed air. The sealing surface must be completely free from dirt and other particles. Insert new shear tubes. Tighten the shear tubes to 35 newton meters. 
The tips are deformed to fit the valve seats at the bottom of the holes. Unscrew the shear tube adjacent to the fill port by half a turn. Unscrew the protective plug. Insert the quick connect and attach the pump hose fitting. Close the relief valve on the pump. Pump oil into the coupling until the pressure gauge shows the correct pressure according to the calibration diagram. Tighten the shear tube to 35 newton meters. This makes the coupling completely leak proof. Lower the pressure in the hose by opening the relief valve on the pump body. When the pressure on the gauge reaches 0 megapascals, disconnect the pump hose and remove the quick connect. Reinstall the protective plug. The safe set is now set to the preferred release point.